Welcome to a lesson on multiplying radical conjugate expressions. Radical expressions that involve a sum or difference of the same two terms are called conjugates. So here are some examples of radical conjugates. a plus square root b and a minus square root b are radical conjugates, as well as square root a plus square root b and square root a minus square root b. Notice how the terms are the same, but here we have a sum and here we have a difference, as well as here we have a sum and here we have a difference. The product of two conjugates is the difference of two squares. And this result is very helpful when simplifying radical expressions that contain a sum or difference in the denominator. Now there is a shortcut to determining the product of radical conjugates. If we look at the product of the conjugates a plus b and a minus b, this would be equal to a squared minus b squared. This formula should look familiar. This is the same formula we use to factor a difference of squares. I'm not a real big fan of the shortcut. Notice how if we multiply these two binomials like we normally would, we would have four products, one, two, three, four, which would give us a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. And notice how the two middle terms are opposites, and therefore this sum is zero. So this simplifies nicely to a squared minus b squared. So as long as we know how to multiply two binomials, we don't have to memorize this formula or take the shortcut. But of course it is available if you want to use it. Let's look at an example with radical conjugates. Notice here we have two plus square root three times two minus square root three. So again, using the technique to multiply two binomials, we'd have four products. Two times two is four. Two times negative square root three would be minus two square root three. Then we'd have plus square root three times two, or plus two square root three. And then we'd have square root three times negative square root three, which would be minus square root nine. Once again, notice how the two middle terms are opposites, so this sums to zero. The square root of nine is equal to three, so this simplifies to four minus three, which equals one. But if we did use this shortcut, notice that a would be two, b would be square root three, so we'd have two squared minus square root three squared, which would still give us four minus three, which equals one. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. Notice how we do have the product of two conjugates, Let's first multiply this out like we normally would. Again, we'd have four products, one, two, three, four. So we have six times six, that's 36. Six times negative square root 15, that's minus six square root 15. And then we have square root 15 times six, so that's plus six square root 15. And then we have square root 15 times negative square root 15. That would be minus the square root of 15 times 15. Of course, this does simplify. This is a perfect square. And the two middle terms are opposites. This sums to zero. So we get 36 minus the square root of 15 squared is 15. So this product simplifies to 21. Or again, if we wanted to, using the shortcut, notice a would be six b would be square root 15, so we'd have six squared minus square root 15 squared, which equals 36 minus 15 with the same result. Either way, the product of the conjugates equals 21. Let's look at one more example. Once again, notice how we do have conjugates. The terms are the same, except here we have a difference and here we have a sum. Let's first multiply like we normally would. So we have one, two, three, four products. Three square root three times three square root three. We multiply the threes, three times three is nine. Multiply the radicands, two times two. And then we have plus, if it's helpful we can think of this as one square root five. So we'd have three times one, that's three times the square root of two times five. 
And then we have negative square root of five times three square root of two. We can put a one here if we want. So we'd have minus three times the square root of five times two. And then finally we have minus the square root of five times five. So let's go ahead and simplify. Notice here we have a perfect square factor of two squared. Here we have a perfect square factor of five squared. And these won't simplify. The square root of two squared is two. So we have nine times two or 18. Plus this would be three square root 10 minus three square root 10. And here we have minus the square root of five squared, which is five. Again, these are opposites. So we have 18 minus five, which equals 13. Using the shortcut where a would be three square root three and b would be square root five, we would have three square root two squared minus square root five squared equals, well here to square three square root three, we square the three, that's nine. And then we square square root two, that's two, minus the square root of five squared is five. So 18 minus five, of course, is 13. So as you can see, the shortcut is faster, but as long as you remember how to multiply binomials, we'll always get the correct result. I hope you found this helpful.